Good morning everybody. Today I'm going to run you through the cost of travelling to Bucharest, Romania's capital city. I'm filming this a little bit late. I'm currently in Turkey, so I hope you don't mind the setup. I'm not currently in Romania. Just to let you know, these costs do not include international flights, travel insurance, or anything you need before you visit the country. In total, for the whole 10 days I was in Romania, I spent £235, which equivalents to roughly £23.50 per day. And you can definitely do this a lot cheaper. So when you travel, your biggest cost that you will have will be your accommodation. I stayed at the Little Bucharest Old Town Hostel, which is located in the, the old part of town. It cost me on average about nine to 10 pounds a night, and that really depends on the day you're staying. If you're staying throughout the week, usually up until about Thursday, Monday to Thursday, you're gonna pay a little bit less. But on average, yeah, I spent nine to 10 pounds. I also stayed at an amazing couch surfing house, which was free just outside the old part of town and yeah if you're wanting to keep your costs low I definitely recommend doing couch surfing because it's such a great way to meet locals I had one of the best experiences I've ever had traveling with my couch surfing host we went around loads of different areas if you haven't seen my video on staying with a local definitely check that out I will pop it down in the description box but yeah it generally was free but we did go for beers and we did have food together so that generally balanced out as the same as going to the hostel but obviously you had the added bonus of beers and food so if you wanted to keep your costs low and you don't drink then yeah definitely stay at a couch surfing host and it'll work out a lot cheaper and you will probably have great experiences like i did if you're not a couch surfing or hostel kind of girl or guy then you can definitely get a hotel room hotel rooms in the old part of town in the same location as the hostels or couch surfing you are going to probably spend around 30 to 100 pounds per night yeah that kind of depends on what your preferences are where your location is but if you're wanting to get in the hustle with all the live music and all the people then i recommend staying in the old town because you have all the bars you have all the restaurants you have all the live music and you have the best people one thing to remember is Yes, Romania is incredibly cheap if you want it to be, but it is still Europe, so the prices will be higher than the neighbouring countries, say in Asia or the Middle East. Okay, so next up is food. Personally, my favourite thing to do in a new city, or any city, is eat my way around all the local restaurants or go to supermarkets to buy food. Eating out generally is fairly cheap compared to Western Europe, but if you're on a budget like I am, you generally need to be quite careful because restaurants and bars in Bucharest I had no idea but they're so modern and so up and coming that you are going to pay more than you probably intended to for food I will show you some of the menus I encountered and some of the decor because honestly it's so so amazing so yeah take a look So if you wanted to keep your costs low um, and don't want to eat out necessarily every day, then definitely go to a supermarket. I went to a supermarket with my friend called Carrefour, I think it's called. I will pop the name on the screen. And it's so ridiculously cheap that I 
was buzzing. Um, we ended up picking up some pasta, some sauce, cheese, bread, coffee, uh, kind of all the basic necessities, I think. Uh, and it came to a very, very, very cheap cost. So yeah, if you're on a tight budget, definitely go to a supermarket, pick up some food, make some food for the next few days if you're staying in a certain location and take it with you on sightseeing days and take it with you when you're exploring because that way you're not tempted by the ridiculously overpriced touristy snacks that are located around the places you're going to visit. So yeah, have a look at the supermarket prices, see what you think and come up with your own judgment whether you want to spend the money in there or not. One thing I want to touch on in this video is the water situation. Um, I don't recommend drinking the tap water. I drank it for the first three-ish days that I was there and because of the high amount of chlorine that is based in the water, it made me feel very ill and I ended up losing my voice actually. I don't know whether that was 100% related to the water, but I don't recommend drinking it. So after the three days, I did end up having to go on to bottled water. I only really drank the tap water because I want to keep my plastic consumption low. But if you are coming here, I recommend getting a, a purifying bottle. You can get bottles that actually purify the water that come from taps. Um, you can also get adventure bottles where you can drink out of lakes and things like that. I recommend getting one. They're a little bit pricey, but you will save plastic. You will save money in the long run and you will eventually help to cut down the plastic consumption that we are all using in the world. Definitely pick up a, a bottle before you come here or before you go traveling because it's very, very handy. Okay, so if you're coming to the city, you're gonna wanna do some cool activities and cool adventures when you're here. In the city, there are a ton of incredible things to do and yeah, I had the best time. One thing I love doing when I'm in a city is just walking the streets. Number one, it's free. And the architecture in this city is a mix between modern, like I showed you in the restaurants, or it's super, super old. You have the burnt out buildings from World War II, and you have the really old communist buildings from like 30, 40 years ago. You have buildings being reconstructed. And yeah, it's generally a very mixed city with sculptures dotted around the city on all the buildings, like I showed you from the hostel room. Like the view was just incredible and the architecture in the city is one of the best things you can see. If you're looking for other things to do, I recommend seeing the Arc, which is in the north of the city. The Parliament Building, which is the second largest building in the world, it's completely free to walk around, obviously, but if you're wanting to go inside, I think it's about 50 lei, which is around 10 pounds. One thing I really recommend you doing is going to the Rainbow Street, which is more commonly known as Passage of Victoria. It's the street with loads of umbrellas and it's for some really cool photo opportunities. So yeah, definitely recommend doing that. You could wander the many parks which line the streets in Bucharest. There are some incredible parks. Or you could watch the light show which happens in the summer every weekend, which is really, really fun to witness. It lasts for a whole hour. That's in Unary Park, which is about a 10 minute walk from the Old Town. You could take a free walking tour of the city to understand the architecture, to understand the history of the city. And you could take the walking tour to understand the very in-depth history of the communist regime in the city because it's very, very fascinating. I'm not usually one for free walking tours. I get very bored easy, but the free walking tours that happen around six o'clock every single day uh, take you through everything that happens. and. There are still buildings with gunshots lining the, the outside of the buildings and it's really, really fascinating. So if that's something you're into, I definitely recommend doing that. You could also visit one of the many art museums or art exhibitions that are around the city every single day. I visited the National Museum of Art in the city, which is like maybe five minutes 
away from the old town and it was so so phenomenal we went on a wednesday and it was completely free i can't speak for any of the other days but if you are wanting to go for free then definitely go on a wednesday and there are other museums as well around the city we went to one i can't remember the name of it for my life but it cost me uh 10 lei, I think, which is about two pounds. Uh, that was cool. I didn't really enjoy it that much. But yeah, I definitely recommend the National Museum of Art because it was really, really good and it was free. I recommend going around the city by the Metro. The Metro is so cheap. You can get a two trip pass for about five lei, which is about like, I don't know, 90p. So, so cheap. And if you're wanting to go to and from the airport, one tip is to get the 783 bus and that takes you straight to Unary Park or it picks you up from Unary Park and it takes you to the airport and that is 8 lei 75 which is about two pounds which I don't think I've ever experienced coming to and from the airport for so cheap. Okay, so Bucharest nightlife is some of the best I've ever, ever experienced and I really recommend you doing it if you come to bucharest you i think you have to experience the nightlife even if you don't drink but if you do drink beer can be seriously cheap if you are visiting if you're going to bars during happy hour you can expect to pay anywhere from a pound to two pounds per beer which is amazing that's so so good if you're wanting to go to clubs clubs can charge around 10 lei per per entry and that's about two pounds as well. So if you're wanting to go on a night out and you're wanting to experience Bucharest nightlife, which I recommend doing, then you can do it very, very cheap and on a very strict budget. So that's it. I hope these tips helped. I hope these gave you a good idea of how much you can expect to spend here. Obviously, I spent about 235 pounds in 10 days. You can do this a lot cheaper. If you're couch surfing for free, you don't drink that much, you shop at supermarkets and you really kind of rein in your costs. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already to see videos from around the world on my full-time travels. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.